Hi everyone, Mayor Barak here. Thank you for joining my live trading session. I am trading for my ball today, so hopefully internet will stay alive during this session because we're changing directions and everything. So it's a bit uh, it's a bit tricky, but anyway, uh, market is about to get open. You will be able to see me trade live. Watch my screens, watch my PL. Let me welcome my trading room members and start the trading session right now. Welcome everyone, and don't forget plenty of links right here below if you want to join my live trading room for a free 14 day trial or trade the same training platform i'm using which is the colmex pro platform you're welcome to do so links below don't forget to hit that like button for us thank you the session is about to get open okay traders the market is open welcome everyone S&P starts down 0.4%, Nasdaq starts down 0.2%. Uh, my boat is rocking like crazy. <laughs> you can't see the window, maybe you can, I don't know. <laughs> but it is like crazy right now. Anyway, um, the market is open. Some big movers, of course, NVIDIA. NVIDIA is up 1.7%. AMD was up, it's no longer up. S&P, as we spoke about earlier, starts with a small gap down. We did have an uptrend yesterday, but we do start down quite significantly today. 0.4% is not a small gap, but it could be closed. So the nice thing now is that um, NVIDIA just pulled back down a little bit. So I think... We could go long over four four maybe four four five possibly. I'll post it. I'm not sure about the entry point right now. Okay, here we go. It's very close. We don't really have uh, any direction right now. Guys, I'm long NVIDIA. I thought for a second there that it's moving over 445. It did not. I went long. It's a mistake. I hope it's not a big mistake, which means I really needed to move and it did now okay so i'm long nvidia stop is under the lows for for 316 approximately two points it looks okay it's very very early and we do not have any market direction the s p is exactly where we started so is the nasdaq moving up target should be two points right now we have one point risk was two points therefore my target should be two points stop under the lows under 443 target 447 we are getting close we need some more and we've got it right now get ready for a partial let's try and let's get a little bit farther if we can but if it shows us the first sign of a pullback, we need to take a partial. Good girl, good girl, 448, and going, and going. Come on, NVIDIA, just a little bit more, 449. And we're going, and we're going, and we're going. Come on, just a bit more, NVIDIA. 449.50. If it tries to move under 449, be real quick by taking a partial there. Don't let it move under 449. It will pull back at some point. Watch the buyers. The buyers are at 449.50. Don't let the buyers come down under 449. If they do, be quick. Now, took my partial. Just touched under 449. Small size left for the continued game. That was a real good first trade you know i traded nvidia yesterday on the short side 
It turned out to be a horrible trade. My first trade yesterday was a losing trade, but right now, wow, Nvidia. I'm watching Tesla. Tesla started strong today. Yesterday it came up, started with a gap down, but came up. Now, I don't really like the daily of Tesla. It looks like it's on the verge of a breakdown here. But I will not argue with the uptrend, assuming there will be an uptrend. So if Tesla will cure from this red candles that we're seeing right now, not sure that it will, then 239.50 could be a long play. Let's take that into consideration. Market direction still unknown. Nvidia did pull back down. We could add not much size. Okay, don't don't add too much. I'm getting ready, adding now to Nvidia on this red pullback. Very small size added, hoping that it's going to recover and get going again, which is very likely because the volume is very high and it's over two percent and I can let it, uh, you know, move down a little bit, possibly add on a real reversal, because right now I added on just a pullback. There was no real reversal here. So let's just see what happens with NVIDIA next. Again, we can add if it moves over 4, 4, uh, 4, 4, 9. Phew did not buy the pullback with me consider 44880 maybe to add amd is very strong today has to be because of nvidia i guess netflix is very weak let's take a look at netflix this could be an interesting trade if not too late What about the market? The market's slightly moving down. Guys, I'm going to short Netflix under 4, 2, 3. Wow, it's pretty. I'm going to lower my size under 4, 2, 3. Watch the buyers at 4, oh, 2, 3, question. 30. Guys, Microsoft is bouncing towards the high. I'm about to go long Uber. 44, 70. Not a full share size. Still waiting for a uh, Roblox. Oh, I forgot to add to Nvidia some more. I wanted to add to Nvidia some more as it turns around. Okay, I'm going to add again small size over here. Smaller than I added earlier. I mean, I'm, I'm just, you know, Trying to follow the uptrend, it did reverse, so it's a nice technical reversal right now. And the Nasdaq did move over the highs, not yet the S&P, but we're seeing some green candles in the S&P too. Still, it is, um, is in the middle of the range. However, what was a red candle in the S&P just turned out to be a dodgy bottoming tail, which normally indicates that the S&P may move higher from here. Okay, so I just added to NVIDIA. Again, it's not a very big size. I'm hoping to get a new high, and I think I'm just about to get that. And yes, I do. So I wouldn't mind taking something home somewhere around here. Guys, Microsoft, one point. Getting ready to take a partial for my added <coughs> quantity in NVIDIA. If it moves under 45150, I'll take a partial. That's several points for my added quantity. I won't let it move under 45150 without a partial. You know, Yogi, I was watching NVIDIA pre-market time. I knew this is going to be my NVIDIA day. Nice. And we're going, and we're going, and we're going. A 
Nvidia still holding over 45150. No longer. I took my partial for my second Nvidia trade. Actually selling some more here. Should I? Should I? Yeah, I'm selling some more. Um, this is my Nvidia day. Well, traders, just 12 minutes into the trading session today, and I'm done for the day. I've got NVIDIA with over $10,000 in profit in just 12 minutes. I don't really want to risk it anymore. Now, just a small look at NVIDIA and what happened today. NVIDIA started with a gap up today, which normally indicates it's going to gap and go, meaning there's the gap. And there's the go. So I was expecting it to move higher. What helped me is the fact that initially it came down. Once a stock is coming down after a gap and go, it is likely to reverse and move higher. And that's a perfect setup. So I was waiting for Nvidia to start moving higher, bought my first quantity, took a partial. Now I had a profit cushion and I added as it pulled back down. I added as it pulled back down, small size, taking a risk here because it didn't yet have the reversal. And then at the reversal, although a little bit higher than I expected, I added once more. And it turned out to be a fantastic trade. And really, I don't need to risk anything anymore after my first 12 minutes. So thank you for watching this video. Plenty of links right here below if you want to trade the same platform I'm trading, which is the Colmex Pro platform. And you can join me to my live trading room. Again, links below. Don't forget to hit that like button for this video if you liked it. And I appreciate the fact that you're watching this video. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.